bureaucrat, administrator, wizard. Yuan Bo's siblings see only a diligent statesman. If but they knew how deep the Jade Dragon's claws could cut. A duty-bound diplomat with a dark side. If Yuan Bo appeals to you, consider pre-ordering, dropping a like, or sharing your thoughts. The Celestial Riverlands is the Jade Dragon's haunt in the Realms of Chaos campaign, and in Immortal Empires, he starts in the Amira Swamps but already owns Shang Wu. In both campaigns, he'll begin by ridding the realm of orcs. As a prominent leader of Grand Cathay, Yuan Bo is concerned with matters of state and can affect instant change in his armies and settlements. But a good leader looks outward too, and trade deals with the Jade Dragon will reveal all regions owned by the trading faction. Beyond day-to-day -day politics, Yuan Bo looks to the Wuxian Compass and, under his father's direction, plots to unlock its true potential. Using steel and stone tokens, Yuan Bo can enact various army, hero, and settlement actions across the campaign map. These range from instantly completing a turn of ongoing recruitment, to restoring campaign movement, to resetting diplomatic relations, and many more. Tokens cannot be destroyed, only transferred. For example, spent stone tokens undergo a five-turn cooldown period before being returned as steel tokens. Winning battles reduces the cooldown by one turn. Additional tokens are earned by declaring fortress cities or commercial districts. Here, Yuan Bo is heading for the Tower of Ashir, but Shang Yang stands in his way. The AI is recruiting, so we'll send our hero to damage their recruitment buildings. Employing structured operation here guarantees a successful hero action and sets us up for an easier attack. Yuan Bo cannot abide the centers. The Executioner will spill Cathayan blood if needed. Infantry beware the Jade Lion's Breath. With two charges and significant damage, this spell is as devastating as it is finite. The Emperor's Executioner isn't merely Yuan Bo's title. Twice per battle, he can summon a Jade Sword to strike down enemy heroes and lords. With access to multiple laws, including Yin, Yang, Light, and Heaven, Yuan Bo is a savage fighter, both as a human or a dragon, at range or up close. Later, we've recouped our spent steel tokens as stone tokens and can perform the commercial district action. This converts a tier 3 province capital into a commercial district, which gains improved effects from settlement buildings and all infrastructure and resource buildings. What's more, we've now gained additional tokens added to our pool. As part of Yuan Bo's faction mechanics, he reveals the region owned by trade partners, allowing for more forward planning. This further reveals neighboring factions who can also be traded with, which, in some cases, creates cascading trade deals. Coupled with the Ivory Road, which itself reveals further factions to trade with, the Jade Dragon soon has an unparalleled lay of the land. Agreeing to join distant wars, which you're unlikely to ever participate in, to cinch a coveted trade deal with the Ice Queen is a diplomatic no-brainer. Under secret orders from the Dragon Emperor, Yuan Bo has been tasked with undertaking a portion of a grander plan, centuries in the making. He must seek out locations where the winds of magic gather and build astromantic relays to extend the reach and power of the Jade Compass. There are four locations Yuan Bo must gain control of, either through diplomacy or force, and these change depending on your campaign type. In Immortal Empires, you'll be assaulting Lizardmen major settlements. In the Realms of Chaos, the locations are the Tower of Hashir, Wei Jin, Ajkilak, and Dragonfang Mount. Once captured, he must gather his strength whilst the relays are constructed and survive an onslaught of Lizardmen warriors, for Yuan Bo's actions work against the Old One's will.
Each new direction on the compass offers powerful boons. Nongjiang Basin provides additional growth based on your Cathayan owned provinces, as well as boons to buildings when activated. Ashir awards additional winds of magic power reserves for each Cathayan owned army, but has no active effect. Dragon River grants character immortality and reduces attrition casualties, but has no reserve effect. And Broken Lands increases the recruitment rank for each Cathayan owned region and buffs unit and character experience when active. Once each direction has been unlocked and held against an onslaught of lizardmen, the Jade Dragon must face one final incursion. Lord Mazda Mundi confronts Grand Cathay's perversion of the Great Plan himself. It is here that Yuan Bo must prove he is worthy of his father's trust. As leader of the Jade Court, Yuan Bo has access to the best soldiers, constructs, and artillery Grand Cathay can offer, as well as new additions to the Cathayan roster arriving in Shadows of Change. The Onyx Crowmen are more than Celestial Court spies. Their wicked beaks, terrifying speed, and impressive numbers make them the perfect choice to harass enemy backlines or run down routers. Only the most powerful warriors of Grand Cathay's army rise to the rank of Grand General of the Celestial Host. Gifted and skilled fighters, these dragon-blooded generals are outfitted from the armories of Wei Jin and lead their men from the front lines. Jade and Jet Lions, deadly slabs of card rock wreak havoc in melee but are valued in cafe for their magical properties. Jet Lions will dampen the effects of magic, whilst their Jade counterparts will boost sorcery and spellcasting. In the traditions of Grand Cathay, a great war drum hangs above the gates of every city. But when danger calls from afar, the drum is carried to war to drive the beat of battle into the dragon's loyal soldiers. From that rhythm, Cathay finds its power and its victory. Answering the drum's beat is three additional Cathayan regiments of renown, the Grace of Khoi Yin, Empress Croman, and the Jade War Drum. And that's it for the Jade Dragon and his bureaucratic intrigues. Next up, the Hexings of Mother Astenkia. See the description below to pre-order, like, or share your thoughts.